and in this video we are going to learn about the break expression in Kotlin okay so uh, suppose you are working with loops and it is sometimes desirable to terminate the loop immediately without checking the test expression okay so I have to terminate the loop at some point so what I can do is in such cases I can use the break statement okay so I'll just uh, go with a random example like I, I started a loop and uh, if the something occurs then I have to break the loop okay so then I have to use the break statement for terminating the loop without checking the test expression okay so the break statement terminates the nearest enclosing loop when encountered without checking the test expression okay so how break works it uh, it is almost always used with if else statement okay so uh, I'll just introduce you with the syntax of this break so what 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 I will do is uh, in the for there is a for loop okay in which there is a for loop in which if there is some test expression if there is a some test expression then I have to uh, break the loop I have to terminate the loop so I'll use the break statement okay and uh, I'll use uh, okay so if test expression is evaluated to true break is executed which terminates the for loop okay so uh, now I'll go uh, explain you with an example so I'll create a main function and inside the main function I'll create a for loop which iterates from uh, 1 to 10 okay and in this if i is equals to 5 if i is equals to 5 then I have to terminate the loop okay so I'll use just the break statement here and I'll print ln i just to know that what is happening in the loop so when I go ahead and run this function what I can see is the, the the what I can see is 1 to 4 is printed so uh, when the value of i is equals to 5 okay so we enter in the for loop i is assigned value equals to 1 and then it checks whether the i is 5 or not so i is not 5 then it prints i and then in, it increases i equals to 2 and then it again checks that if i is equals to true or not, uh, to 5 or not so it is not equals to 5 and then again it prints the value 2 as soon as the uh, i as soon as i becomes 5 in the for loop uh, inside if is evaluated to true and break is executed this terminates the for loop <coughs> okay so uh, uh, what is lab uh, so we will move ahead and uh, uh, learn about labeled break in Kotlin so what we have learned till now is an unlabeled from form of break which terminates the nearest and closing loop there is another way to way break can be used to terminate desired loop okay or I can say the to terminate an outer loop so how does a label break works okay so there is a um, there is a while loop in in a while loop and there is a so there are basically two loops okay so label in Kotlin starts with an identifier which is followed by an at the rate okay so here uh, when I, uh, I okay I can make a code for that syntax okay so I can make test at the rate while and there is some test expression and inside this while loop there is some codes and inside 
this with the codes there is another while loop which contains another test expression and this while loops contains some codes and with this code it contains an if statement and there is a condition condition to break in this uh, if statement and if this condition is true uh, what it does is it uh, it will break and i'll use the m percent sign and then i'll write test okay so now i'll go ahead and uh, close all the parentheses now here is one and here is another okay so now we will understand the syntax so here test at the rate is a label marked at the outer while loop okay so this is the outer while loop and test at the rate is a label marked at the outer while loop okay so now by using break with a label uh, test at the rate break at the rate test in this case you can break a specific loop so uh, as soon as my condition to break is true inside the while this while inner while it will break the test uh, this outer loop okay so what if i had not used the test uh, test so it will break this while loop okay it wouldn't have break the outer while loop okay so uh, it would be more clear with an example if it is not clear till now i'll uh, use first as an identifier for uh, a for loop which iterates in 1 2 4 1 2 4 and inside this for loop there is uh, another for loop and i'll just uh, identify with a s e c o n d second and i'll use at the rate and there is a, there will be another for loop and i'll iterate it in 1 to 2 okay so inside this second for loop i'll write a print statement just to know that what is the status of the loop so you must remember about the uh, the string templates okay so i i am going to use everything i have said till now okay so i is equals to i'll use the ampersand sign uh, dollar sign and use i so this prints the value of i okay and then semicolon uh, semicolon j is equals to uh, dollar j okay so the semicolon is going to print and uh, i is equals to the value of i and j is equals to the value of j so i am just going to uh, print the value okay so if the value of i is 2 then i have to break the first loop okay so i will use the break statement and use the at the rate and mention first now if i run this code okay i can see that i is equals to 1 and then j is equals to 1 then i is for i is equals to 1 j is equals to 2 okay so let's just see what is happening right okay so we first enter the for loop the first for loop okay so there i is assigned the value 1 then we enter the second for loop and there j is assigned the value 1 okay then the, the print statement is executed and i and j both with the value 1 is printed and the statement if i is equal to 2 is executed and as i is not equal to 2 it is 1 it is false and then it continues with the second for loop okay for i is equals to 1 this loop is executed two times because j iterates in 1 to 2 okay then uh, for i is equals to 2 okay so uh, when this this is executed two times we reach the end of this loop the first loop and then i is incremented and i is equals to i becomes 2 now uh, it enters the second for loop and for uh, the i equals to 2 j is assigned 
the value 1 and then the print statement is executed and value of i is equals to 2 and j is equals to 1 is printed and after that the if statement is executed and when i is equals to 2 ex ex expression is evaluated to true break at the rate first is executed which terminates the loop marked with label at the rate first okay or first at the rate so it terminates the first loop now uh, what if what if i have to break the loop as soon as i become 2 and not when after printing j okay so i i, I have to just remove this statement so I can just uh, copy and uh, cut and paste it before the print statement. So before the print statement, the first loop is going to be terminated and hence the uh, third print statement is not executed. So I can just do a little variation in this program, okay, in the previous program. So instead of break at the rate first, I'll do break at the rate second now when I run this program okay when I run this program I can see that uh, i is equals to 1 i is equals j is equals to 1 so the whole loop is executed no the whole loop is not executed since break statement is used to terminate the innermost loop of program okay so the second loop of program i have broke so when i i was 2 when i was 2 <coughs> j was 1 okay so that was printed i was 2 j was 1 and then the condition was evaluated and the second loop was breaked so it it reached the end it reached to the end okay and at the end of this uh, the 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 iterator for first loop that is i is executed okay so uh, if i have to um, like code for this i need not write first at the rate or second at the rate because uh, okay because the break statement as it is is for uh, terminating the innermost loop Okay, so if I had not write uh, at the rate at any point, it gives me the same output. Okay, so that was it for this video. Thank you.